Hi, everybody. It's Matt Brown from HotBoxCards.net, your online source for sports card subscription boxes. It is time for day two. Week day two. Let's get it. Hey, cards. Cards in my car with R. Posada. How you doing, man? So we're going to talk about day two at the National. It just got back, and my back is killing me. Leaning over all those cards, walking on concrete all day. Not very fun when you get in your 40s, let me tell you guys. But we got some cool stuff we're going to show you today. Tell you about all the happenings. Hey, Pat, how you doing, man? So today we're going to talk about day two of the National. Just got back a little bit ago. Uh, picked up some cool stuff. Um, and I got to see uh, one of our uh, friends, uh, the Sports Car Nation podcast, John Newman over there. Got to meet him. Uh, first time I met him, we advertised on his podcast on and off. So it was good to finally sit down and meet with him. And I didn't get to meet with him yet, but I will be. I'll be. I did get a free T-shirt of from Brody the Kid. I don't know if you guys know about Brody the Kid. I guess he does a podcast, and he's like the the chi- the kid uh, host of the National this year. And I won one of his shirts. There it is, Brody the Kid. So I don't know if you guys listen or watch him at all, but kid's like I think thirteen or fourteen, tall kid actually too. But um, he's been. Uh, Really big uh, into sports cards right now and does a little podcast. So I got a free shirt for him from him. So that was cool. So I got to see their uh, little uh, thing that they did. They did a little live uh, podcast, basically. They have a big main stage there at the National where every half hour they have a different group come up, do stuff. A lot of companies will come up also and do, you know, do a lot of different things. Hey, Denise, or Den- who is that? Danas, D-A-N-I-S-E. I don't know how you pronounce that. Denise, Danas. Uh, got some more autographs today. We got three VIP guys who signed for us today. Let me show you who we got. Uh, first up, we got from the Chicago White Sox, we got Ron Kittle. There we go, Ron Kittle on the baseball. He was a rookie of the year, I think, in 1980, maybe 81. I'm not sure. There he is, Ron Kittle. That we will be giving this away in one of our hot boxes for the August box. So, August hot box is called the National. We're calling it the National because we're giving away a lot of stuff from the National. There's the Ron Kittle autograph. And then we got another autograph baseball from C- Cecil Cooper, Milwaukee Brewers. Let's see if we make that. Came out pretty good, the autograph, actually. These aren't, I. I didn't want to pay 20 bucks for Major League Baseball. So I found these. These are made by the same company that makes Major League Baseball's Rawlings. They say official Major League Baseball, but they put the logo on them. So, and for some reason, they put this little logo there where the sweet spot is, which kind of sucks. But I couldn't spend, I couldn't think about spending, you know, $20 for a ball for Cecil Cooper to autograph. You know, just really not worth it. So, I decided to get these. These were a lot cheaper. These were only like $5.99 on Amazon. Plus, they had uh, free shipping with Prime members. So, But I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the other ones I've gotten signed on the side, but uh, Cecil Cooper suggested, he's like, let me sign underneath the logo. And I think that came out really cool, actually. I'm going to start doing that from now on from all the guys. So we got those two baseball players, and then we got a basketball player. Let me show you that. Let me move this out of the way here a little bit. We got from the Chicago, another Chicago Bull guy. Of course, we're in Chicago, so we got to have a lot of Bulls guys. But we got a Randy Brown autograph 8x10 photo. We got to meet Randy Brown. He was signing a lot of stuff for people. Um, There he is, Randy Brown. If you're interested in Randy Brown, I will be selling that because we don't really do a basketball hot box right now, so I can't really give it away for that. But there's Randy Brown. If you're interested in that, that will eventually go on our eBay store at genxtreasures.com. Or you can message me or put a link or a Message me to my email address or just make a comment if you're interested in Randy Brown. Autograph 8x10 photo. So those were all the, those were the three autograph guests we got today. Now, tomorrow, uh, I don't think I have my schedule with me. But that was for the three autographs we got today. We also picked up some boxes, some hobby boxes of 2021 Top Series 2. So baseball subscribers, one of your packs is going to be 2021 top series two for your august box so got some good deals on these uh so we got like two or three boxes of these one autograph or relic card in every box of these so we got two by we got at least two i think we end up getting three boxes of these just want to make sure i had enough for everybody so all the baseball subscribers are going to get 2021 top series two in their boxes 
Now, I also bought some single cards. About well, yesterday, I mostly did game use autograph cards. Today, I basically broke the national down into sections and tried to go through each section. So, uh, the first, it, so what was it last night when I went through? I just went through and looked for stuff. But today, I actually broke it down into sections. Um, didn't get all the way through. I still got more to do tomorrow. Did I make her laugh? Well, I'm glad I made her laugh, Pat. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we did a little sections. Now, today I didn't buy any jersey or autograph cards, but today I found some good, like, five, ten-cent cards that we're going to use for our um, 50 bonus cards. So let me show you some of these. Uh, first off, we got these are from, what year is this? 2000? I think it's 17. We got 2017 Allen and Ginter called What a Day inserts. So we got a bunch of like Justin Furlanders, Greg Maddox. So these will all be going in the 50 bonus cards. We got Ozzy Smith. These were all inserts from Allen and Ginter. Trey Turner, which that might be Trey Turner's rookie year. I'm not sure. Chipper, kind of cool cards. Frankie Lindor, uh, Smoltz. Got a couple of Smoltz. Arenado. So if you like 2017, called What a Day, Allen and Ginter, Frank Thomas, Big Hurt. Um, I did see when I was getting my autograph done, my autographs uh, where we line up. It's right beside where the uh, photo ops are. Saw Ron Harper today. Saw LT today. And what was funny was Harper and LT were like back to back. So LT was coming in and Harper was leaving and they like hugged and took a picture together. So that was kind of cool. I didn't know Ron Harper and Lawrence Taylor were friends, but I guess they are. I uh, saw Dante Hall today, Marshall Falk today, Robert Parrish, my boy Robert Parrish, the chief for the Celtics. Pete Rose, Pete Rose walked right by me. I mean, that that's the kind of stuff that happens at the National. You get Pete Rose walking right beside you. You're like, hey, Pete. <laughs> so I uh, can't think. There was somebody else we saw too. I thought Marshall Falk, Dante Hall. Uh, yeah, I can't think of Oh, Oh, um, Ted Hendricks, Hall of Fame football linebacker for the Raiders. Saw him during the photo op. He would just write down the thing from me. So kind of cool to see those guys. Mike Piazza. Got a bunch of Mike Piazza on these. And then we got more of the regular one, Allen and Ginter. And these have like a shine to them, which I think they're a parallel. I'm pretty sure. If anybody knows, let me know. But I'm almost positive these are the parallel because they're like shiny. There's Randy Johnson. Uh, we got Luke Weaver, rookie. We got Alex Reyes, rookie. These were, I think, these were all five cents, actually. Roger Clemens. Some of these others later on be ten cents, but these were all five centers. I was like a Brayu, and he dropped the price. I think yesterday he was ten. This today he was five. So I'm gonna go back there and see what he's dropped it to tomorrow. Maybe by Sunday there might be a penny. I don't. Then I'll really stock up. Aaron Nola. Uh, we got Syndergaard. Garrett Cole back with the Pirates. Another Trey Turner. But yeah, they're kind of like a shine to them. So I think pretty sure they're like a parallel version of them. So let's go through some more of these cards here. So the last, the Allen and Ginter. So we got Freddie Freeman on What a Day, and I got multiples of a lot of these guys. Was that Scherzer? Uh, yeah, Max Scherzer. Bunch of Max Scherzers. Verlander back with the Tigers. I'll throw it. So that was the Allen and Ginter ones. And then these also, I found these. These were like a die cuts paninis from 2016. Just says Panini football. They're all die cut, but they're all numbered. Look at that. That is John Brown. That is number 199 for the uh, Cardinals. And then I picked up all these numbered cards because I use these quite a bit. Blaine Gabbert. These are all numbered to 199. Who is that? That is Dwayne Allen. See right down there. It's numbered. It's kind of cool. Uh, we got John. Was that Jonathan Stewart? I think. Nope. Ted Ginn Jr. He just retired. So these are going to be cool in there in you guys' uh, um, uh, bonus packs. Chris Ivory, Kenny Britt. Let's see if we got anybody else I really see here. We've got a Kevin White. He didn't do too much, did he? Alshon Jeffrey. That's a good one there. Eric Decker. So he had a bunch of those. All right, let's see what else we got next up. Then we also saw he had a bunch of holiday cards. 2017 holiday card of Corey Se Seager. Seager. So we got a couple of them. Nick Sanzel on that. Here's a Janoris Jenkins. He's played for my Giants. There he is for the Rams. Rookie. Tops Platinum. That was five center, baby. Got a bunch of Leonard Williams rookies for my Giants. 
Uh, another 2019 holiday, Joe Adele. Got a couple of Joe Adele's. They're all going to be going out. Chris Paddock, 19 rookie. I got, look at these. I never saw those before. I think I'm going to save these for our Christmas box and do something with these two. Plus, I got a Santa Claus later on. So those are going to get, those two are going to get saved because I'm going to do something special with those two, those cards, I think. Uh, we got a bunch of Spring Fever Trey Turner rookies. Those are all kind of cool. Again, these are all going to be in our bonus packs for our August box. Well, maybe even beyond that, but at least for our August box, they're going to be in there quite a bit. These are an insert from regular, from Tops Spring Fever, probably from the opening day set. Now, look at this in the five center. Dustin May, Bowman Chrome. That is awesome. Alex Verdugo, rookie. Verdugo. Chris Davis, number 199. That was cool. Uh, then we found some Panini. What are these here? Panini. Says Panini Football 2016, but there's Sterling Shepard rookie, Tyler Boyd rookie. Now there's a regular version, and these are all very shiny. So I don't know. If, I guess they're kind of a parallel. Jalen Ramsey rookie, Hunter Henry rookie. For five cents, you can't beat it. CJ Prose, more Leonard Williams rookies, Jamison Crowder rookies. Got a bunch of him. We got Kevin Gossman on the Bowman Chrome top prospect. Max Freed on the top prospect. Got an old, what is this, 1969 Tops card for, for a nickel. Sam Cunningham for the Patriots, an old one. Is that like 79, I think? 78. Another Trey Turner. Nick Senzel, this time 2018 holiday. J.P. Crawford, this guy's been tearing it up out in Seattle. Man, the Phillies wish they didn't get rid of this guy. 2018, J.P. Crawford rookie. A couple more Alex Verdugo rookies on the holiday cards, too. So we'll keep going a little bit through them. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. I know I am. More of these die cut cards, numbered to 199. Uh, who's that? It's hard to see the guy in the name on the back. Donica Sue. Mr. Sue, number to 199. Who else we got? DeMarco Murray. That's number to 199. Demarius Thomas. Heath Miller for you Steeler fans, number to 199. So these are kind of cool. Tori Smith. Uh, Jordan Wood, Anquan Bolden, Carson Palmer, the one out, Allen Robinson, a couple of Allen Robinsons, Gerald McCoy, a couple of Gerald McCoys, Mario Williams, a couple of Mario Williams, Blake Bortles, Pierre Garçon, number 199. I don't know, for serial number cards for that cheap, uh, you can't say no to them, you know. Um, uh, and then these were actually these were at the same time, but these were cut differently. But they're also number one. I wonder if it's a different year. 2016, and these were 2016. Okay, but these are rookies. I think that's why they're cut different. There's Canoe, rookie, Leonard Floyd, uh, Braxton Miller, rookie, number 199, Malcolm Mitchell. Uh, there's that Sharp, Carl Joseph. Found this nice Jalen Ramsey, a couple of these. Uh, night School, rookie inserts for Nickel. More holiday cards. I like this guy. This guy's on my fantasy team. Sean Murphy, rookies. Well, these are prospect ones of them. And then here's the other card I'm saving for Christmas. Look at that. I found a Santa Claus, folks. Santa. Santa. Got another card. Uh, Legends of the Shield. Joe Theismann got those. Jordan Howard, rookie. On the... I think that's a parallel because it's all shiny. Looks different than the rest. All right. Jonathan Stewart numbered. More of the number. These are all rookie ones. Who do we got here? We got Darius Jackson. Never heard of him. Raidman, Dreskel, Butler, Jordan Payton. These are all number to 199. And then we got the regular, the, the base cards, number to 199. Michael Griffin, Dre Kirkpatrick, uh, with Garrett Blunt. Got a couple blunts. A couple blunts. Shout out to my boy uh, Bud Stoney and, and uh, Card Shark Curtis for that one. Yeah, she, hey, a lot of Steeler fans love Heath Miller. Uh, they are, he's a very popular player. Delaney Walker. I uh, found these, too. These were more. I found a lot of Trey Turner stuff in this guy's boxes. But these are NL Rookie Stars with Trey Turner and Hector Alvaro. But there's Trey Turner on the top's heritage. Found uh, three of those things. I even got a basketball card. Uh, Moutier, rookie, numbered. 
to so five ninety nine. I thought that was pretty good. Found all these. These were two. Uh, these say regular Bowman. I think they might be Bowman drafts. But look at all these Austin Meadows with the Pirates I have. Uh, can't go wrong with all those. Hey, 25 Press, how you doing, man? Just going over some stuff I picked up day two, the National. I'll recap some stuff here when I'm done. Go through this box. These were all like five-cent cards I picked up for my bonus packs. So uh, what do we got here? We got Kirk Cousins, number to 199. That was a nickel. Giovanni Bernard. Chandler Jones, Chris Johnson, Marcus Mariota. We've got McFadden. We've got a couple of McFaddens. Number to 199. Malcolm Floyd, Dante Whitner, Golden Tate. I don't know where he is now. Our, my Giants got rid of him, thank goodness. Joe Hayden. Duke Johnson, number to 199. And Brian Hoyer, number to 199 also. Getting close to the end here. And then uh, I think... These are, and then we got two Jameis, found two Jameis Winston's for a nickel piece. Now these, this next group here is all 10 centers I picked up. Uh, we got a Melvin Gordon rookie, a Melvin Gordon score rookie, Treadwell rookie, rated rookie. 10 cents, folks. Can't beat that. Danny Dimes insert, which is awesome. Corey Latimer, tops platinum rookie. Darius Slay, prism rookie. Heard sure Chris is going to want that. Uh, who says this is Terrell Edmonds for the Steelers? True blue, number to 149 for the Steelers. True blue insert for rookies and stars. Marcus Peters, tops chrome rookie. Uh, we got a couple. Look at these Saquon, Saquon uh, inserts. Got a couple Saquon inserts. Jonathan Allen. And then, did I decide to do those or not? I decided to do something else. All right, these are press proof, Donna's press proof blue. We got Carson Wentz, Aikman, Corey Davis, rookie, Chris Godwin rated rookie, press proof blue, Kenny Galladay rookie, blue, Jamal Adams rookie. Yeah, I mean, look at this OJ Howard rookie blue. I, I might have to go, I need to go through all these guys' boxes. I think tomorrow I might go and just sit there for a long time and go through a whole bunch. Uh, Jared Davis, what was that here? Optic. We got a Zay Jones. We got a couple of these Zay Jones rookies we got on the optic. This one is this one's like the hollow foil, I think. Or not that one. That one's like the pink. And this one's the silver hollow foil. So on those, that's cool. Uh John Ross optic. Jonathan Allen optic rookie as well. Uh then we got uh Tommy Frazier, number to 999. You guys probably don't remember Tommy Frazier, but Led Nebraska, I believe, to a national championship. Really good quarterback, option quarterback. So he was pretty good. And then we picked up, and this is what we're going to do. We've already announced what baseball, what our baseball boxes are going to get free every, this month. But this is what, well, we got one more card. We got Vaughn Miller, press proof blue, too. So football this month for our national, we are giving you a top fire card because it's August and it's hot. And believe me, it's really hot out here. So we got a ton of tops fire, and these are all like a uh, – they kind of have like a shine to them, so I'm pretty sure they're a parallel. There's Franco Harris. Uh, got Calvin Johnson, Megatron, tops fire. Odell Beckham on the catch. Love that card. Adrian Peterson, uh, Beckham, Roger Staubach. We got Amari Cooper, rookie tops fire. That's going out to one of our subscribers. Yankees trying to get Rizzo, huh? I don't know if they just got Joey Gallo. I, I don't know. Personally, I would hang on. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go after him. I don't think the Yankees are going to do it this year. Just no. Cam Newton. More importantly, let's talk about my Giants, San Francisco Giants, baby. First place, and we need to bring. I was hoping we'd bring Joey Gallo on, but I'm hoping we get Scherzer, AJ Green, Calvin Johnson, Megatron, Andrew. A couple of Andrew. I got three Andrew Luck tops fires. So these are all going to be free cards for our subscribers for this month of football for August. They're going to get, everyone's going to get at least one. There's Odell regular, uh, Big Ben. We got Gurley. We got these fired up ones, tops fire. What was that, Sherman? Yeah, Richard Sherman and Peterson and Le'Veon Bell. Another Marshawn. Marshawn Flacco. Drew Brees on the tops fire. Tannehill. Uh, we got a Gurley rookie there. Tops fire Todd Gurley rookie. 
on the shiny one. Uh, Tyler Lockett, rookie. AP, Adrian Peterson. I think these are from different years. There's another Todd Gurley. That one's kind of a red version. Got a Duke Johnson, rookie. You got, oh, primetime, baby. Neon Dion. Max going to the Padres. I don't, I don't, I don't know. The Nationals, I mean, the Padres really don't have a lot of their minor league system. I don't know why they, I don't know why the Nationals would go after with do the Padres, but hey, who knows? Bradshaw, LT, uh, Steve Young, Elway, and Gail Sayers. So all the football subscribers are going to get a Topps Fire card in their box for August. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys, I thought I had something. Oh, I wanted to open up that other wild card pack. So we opened up one last night. We're going to open up the other one now. Just to recap what we got autograph wise, though, we got Mr. Ron Kittle, Rookie of the Year for the White Sox back in, I believe, 1980, maybe 81, 82, one of those early 80 guys. And we also got, for you Brewer fans, Cecil Cooper, outfielder, I believe he was. The Brew Crew. And basketball fans, we got a Randy Brown autograph 8x10 photo. Got to meet Randy Brown today. Part of, I think he was part of three Bulls championship teams. Pretty impressive. I don't care if you're sitting the bench. You got three rings because you're helping out Michael Jordan. Hey, so be it, folks. So be it. All right, let's open up this wild card pack. Let's see what we get in here. I'm also planning after I leave here, I'm going to go over to Super Dog. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Superdog, but it's like the hot dog place in uh, Chicago. I think they started in 1948, and so and they have a thing called the Superdog. And you can't if you go and order a hot dog, they will tell you we don't sell hot dogs, and then they'll let you walk away because you got to order a Superdog. So I'm going to go over and do that tonight after I get done with this video and get cleaned up a little bit. See what this Superdog is all about, folks. All right, let's open up this wild card pack. You didn't see my video last night. We opened up one pack of it last night. Uh, these were exclusively for VIP members because wild card is back, folks. Let's see what we get out of here. All right, we're going to start off with, who is this here? Michael Carter. Oh, that is, is that number? No, it's not number. I thought it was. We got Michael Carter. Uh, we got Javante Williams. Nice looking card. I might check to see how much boxes are of these. Uh, Trey Sermon and Jalen Waddle. Waddle. Yeah, I might go over and check to see how much a box of these are. These are really cool. I like these. Plus, I think they got like four autographs per box on these. I'm not one hundred percent sure. All right, I think. Oh, and I forgot to mention. I well, I did mention it earlier in the video, but just to recap um, again. I didn't have anything ready for our August box, so that's why we're calling this the National Box. So all the baseball subscribers are going to get packs of 2021 Top Series 2 Hobby Boxes. So went on Instagram, and everybody's saying results of the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. Yeah. What are they going to do? I wonder if, they, I wonder if they're going to get rid of – I know they've been trying to get rid of Stanton. Um, they're starting to get too many. Uh, they really need pitching, don't they? I mean, their hitting's, you know, a little. I mean, they got Judge and Stanton. Though Stanton, I don't think, has done great. Glaber has been horrible, I think, this year. So maybe they do, but I don't know. Uh, I know my Giants were linked, linked to Chris Bryant, but I'm not that big on Chris Bryant. He's, you know, he's got one year. He's going to be a free agent. Luke trade Luke Voigt. Oh, man, if Luke Voigt can stay healthy, last year he was a beast. And this year he's just been hurt. So I don't know if they can trade him now if he's on the injured list or not. Not sure. All right, so anything else you guys want to talk about the National? Um, there was also, oh, it, right before I was, saw uh, my friend at Sports Card Nation Podcast do his, Upper Deck was up there, and I noticed, and I didn't know Upper Deck's doing this, but Upper Deck's doing AEW cards, All Elite Wrestling. They had some Darby Allen, like big posters of Darby Allen and Sting. Uh, so it like, looks like I think Upper Deck's going to be going into the wrestling business with uh, AEW. Which is kind of good because Upper Deck needs to do something. I mean, they uh, the only thing they do is hockey, and now they just brought back golf. But now if they get into wrestling, they do the Goodwin Champions. But um, that's about it. They do. So hopefully this helps Upper Deck a little bit. They're going to be going, I think, back into wrestling or doing wrestling for the first time. 
excuse me, first time. They've never really done wrestling before, but looks like Upper Deck's going to be doing at least some of the AEW guys. Um, I saw Darby Allen, uh, like oversized, like poster kind of of it, and Sting. And I think I saw Kenny Omega too on there too. So um, looks like Upper Deck's going to be going into them. I haven't really, I mean, I did also, if you want to see a little walk around video, I did one a little bit earlier on Facebook Live. So if you go to our Facebook page, facebook.com backslash hotbox cards, you can see that walk around. That was only like a quarter of the show. Probably every day I'm going to do a little bit more. Now, I mean, the national has just been packed with people. It's been crazy. And it's these are supposed to be the slow days. Tomorrow and Saturday are the big days. Saturday was going to be hectic. So I'm going to try to get a lot of my buying done tomorrow. Because I know Saturday it's going to be pretty bad. And then I want to also save some money for Sunday because I'm hoping some of the dealers will drop some of their prices on Sunday, trying to get rid of stuff so they don't take stuff home. So I'm hoping that'll help me out on Sunday as well. So that's about all I got for today. Um, don't know what else you guys want to talk about. If you have any questions about the national next year, of course, it's in Atlantic city and I'll be going out there. I'm also thinking about, I'm thinking about for those of you on the East coast. Um, I usually go out to the Philly card show and I'm thinking about setting up at the Philly card show. Yeah. Hot box cards, setting up and selling special hot boxes at the Philly card show. Not for the, they have a September show and a December. Uh, September is going to be too, too early. So I'm thinking about maybe setting up in a December show. So any guys on the East Coast, Hotbox Cards might be there selling a special Philly special box. I don't know. I haven't decided. Just been brainstorming a little bit. I saw uh, Sports Collectors Club was at the National this year. They had like three, four tables just selling their boxes. Um, and their cheapest box is like $65. And all you get is packs. So, And then they go up from there from price. So, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of a little bit of my competitors. But... Uh, I didn't see too many people buying any. I saw one person when I walked around, but I wasn't over there all the time watching. I should have. I should have been standing there when someone bought one. I just pass them out the, my business card. Hey, here, Hotbox cards would have been thirty dollars, twenty nine ninety nine instead of sixty five or whatever you're spending on it. Because they go, they start at like sixty five and they go up from there. At least the ones they had at the national too. Um, so hopefully tomorrow I can get around and, and see some more stuff. I got more of the national. I need to. I mean, I've walked through pretty much everything, but I haven't really sat down and looked at stuff really closely at every table. So I've gotten about a fourth of it done. I got through pretty good. But, oh, and I did take out some hockey, uh, 1970 hockey Colgate stamps. I had 11 of them, PSA graded. Um, and I bought these at an auction. I want them pretty cheap. And I tried to sell them on eBay. They weren't selling. So I took them to National, found a guy that just who sells hockey, and he offered me 40 bucks for all of them, and I took it. I, I wanted I wanted to get five dollars a piece, which is still way under what you would pay to get it graded. But I decided, hey, you know what, forty dollars because not a lot of people are going to be interested in their oddball. They're like a little stamp, like that big, and they're graded by PSA. Most of them were all graded eights and nines, so that was good. But there was like nobody I ever heard of, you know, none of the old time hockey like Gordy Howe or anything like that or Bobby Orr. So none of the greats or anything were in there. They're mostly common guys. But I did sell those today, so I made 40 bucks today. Yay! <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be about it. Nobody's really talking too much. And I want to go get cleaned up. And then I am going to head off to Super Dog. I'm going to check out this Super Dog. I'm a hot dog connoisseur. Well, it's not a hot dog. Sorry. It is a Super Dog. So I'm not a Super Dog connoisseur, but, but it's very similar to a hot dog. So I'm going to check that out, see what they're all about. They don't, I think you have to eat in your car, but I think it's like a curbside service all the time. Like even before COVID, you know, it's like an old fashioned, you know, drive up and, you know, the bellhops, the bellhop girls come out and, and give you your food and stuff like that. Cause they started in like 1948, I believe, maybe or even earlier. And there's only, they have a couple of locations in Chicago. So I want to check this out. I think there's one about five or six miles from here. Uh, hopefully traffic will die down here a little bit. So. Get on the road and check that out. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Remember, every night we're going to do a recap, probably about this time. It all depends on when I decide to leave the show and when I get back to the hotel and everything. Uh, so tomorrow we have some more guys signing for us for free. I uh, can't remember the guys off the top of my head, but we'll have to see them. We have to see tomorrow who I get and who I meet. I don't know who I'm going to meet. I also got to stop, stop and talk to John at uh, Sports Card Nation Podcast. He's got a shirt for me. 
So I want to get that. Um, so that's about it, guys. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. We're going to do a Friday night video and a Saturday night video. We won't do a Sunday night video because Sunday after the show, I'm heading straight to Cleveland. Well, technically, Canton, Ohio, because I'm going to get up Monday and go to the Hall of Fame. So I won't be doing a Sunday night video, but definitely, uh, if you're not a subscriber to our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Helps out my algorithms or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Nobody's watching right now anyways. Man, last night I was on late at night and I had a whole bunch of people. Today, barely anybody. Where is everybody? So, all right, I'll catch you guys next time. Be safe, everybody. And that was day two of the National. Tomorrow, day three. Hopefully I survive it.